Morning all. So it's 11.24 Sunday the 2nd. Um, I'm tired. I hurt. And I want the day to be over with already. It's a good start for you, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't get a good night's sleep last night, so I'm a little... Ugh. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that noise, I'm just putting the legs up on the sofa so I let not have it up when my feet started hurting. Um, yeah, so I haven't really done much yet this morning. Uh, you probably just heard the front door go then. That's Duncan going in and out. He's um, clearing out some of the mess in the garage so we can attempt to actually have a garage. Not that we could put a car on it, you literally can't get our cars it our cars, our car into the garage. The angle our garage has been built to the angle of our driveway. The garage is an add on, add on to the house, so you know that's just a normal house angle. But our driveway is at a different angle. Um and you can't actually drive up the driveway and drive into the garage. It actually takes minuscule movements backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, continuously turning to be able to get into the garage. So we don't use it. We use it as um it's actually our utility area at the same time because it has the air, the space for the dishwasher and the washing machine um, at the far end, which is basically the wall against our kitchen. Um, so it's used as a utility area for that. Um, it's got our big chest freezer in it. I say our big chest freezer, our only chest freezer, our only freezer. We have two fridges. That sounds awful. <laughs> we have a really old, tall fridge that we got second, third hand off someone. And then we have an under-counter fridge, which um, my brother-in-law bought us when we first moved in. And it's still going strong. It's, it's an amazing fridge. Um, because between the five of us, we have a lot of drinks in the house and a lot of food in the house, obviously. Um, you know, three grown boys, they take a lot of food. So we need two fridge. Um, and we need a massive chest freezer. And you wouldn't get a freezer at all into... Um, the kitchen so we have a chest freezer in the garage and so with the tumble dryer washing machine and chest freezer I'm so sorry um, we tend to use it as Duncan's motorbikes in there um, currently in pieces but normally it's just stored in there <laughs> um, and we have a couple of chest of drawers that we use for tools and things um, and they're in there um, so yeah, it's not actually used for the car, but it's been used for a lot of storage and it needs clearing out, so that's what Duncan's doing. As you probably heard, he just came back through again. I have no idea what he's doing now. The, get, the way our house works is you can actually go from our front door through our lounge, through the dining room, um, through the kitchen, around into the garage and back out the garage door by the front door or out the garage side door. Um, into the back garden, which also we have a side door in the kitchen. So you can do one massive leap in our place, because there's three doors into the um, garden, which is the garage, the kitchen, and the conservatory, and two doors out to the front, which is the garage door and our front door. It's very confusing. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Back in. Sorry, Duncan wanted to say something. He was on the sofa waiting for me to finish filming, so I thought I'd better take a break. Um... Yeah, what was I saying? I was saying about the garage, and yeah, we don't really use it as a garage because it can't be used. But it's good as an extra room for storage for stuff that we need. But unfortunately, it was coming that we'd put stuff in there ready to go to the dump, and then we'd never done a dump run, and then it built up. You know, you know how these things build up, and so Duncan's doing a dump run and get rid of it. Um, he's actually, I think I've just asked him to go upstairs and take some of the stuff from our bedroom. Um, when we were rearranging our bedrooms and I got some new furniture from my nan, we took down the canvas wardrobes we had because we didn't have any actual wardrobes um, and put them down. And I said, I don't want them left in here. And he said, they'll be here one week and they go to the dump. It's about six months later now, maybe longer. And so I'm like, take them, make them go. Sorry, wobbling. <laughs> um, so he's gone upstairs to get them, hopefully, and just try to make our bedroom more usable because at the moment it's... It's horrendous. There's just not enough room for everything. Yes, Mally? I never heard of a week that lasted six months long. I know. Well, with your father, that's... Is it a man thing? 
you know, only going to be um, a little while and then, you know, a year later. <laughs> I can remember one of the funniest things is back when he was still at uni and we had, um, one of his mates was our lodger. And they, it was St. Patrick's Day and they're like, oh, we're just going to have one drink and then we'll be back. And then we can play game, watch TV, do whatever all together while having a drink. I'm like, okay then, have fun, see you in a bit. Six hours later, I think it was, they came back. Very drunk, very happy. And with some awesome things like giant hats the kids loved. <laughs> but it's like, that wasn't a quick drink. So, yeah, is it a man thing? Do you, we know any women that do that? I don't know any women that do that. Um, maybe because I don't know many people. <laughs> but, yeah, it seems to be, you know, what will be a short while is really long. I just told them about your and Matt's um, trip to the one quick drink on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> you can see his face, he's like, really? <laughs> How many years ago was that? I don't know how many years ago, but it, it was ridiculous. One quick drink turned into like six hours. <laughs> 14, 15 years ago. Yeah, well, it was 14, 15 years, years ago, ago, but still, I'm never going to let him live it down. <laughs> Why should I? <laughs> um, I'm just going to go a second and see what he's got there. Hey, take three. Let's see if we can make it through it this time around. <laughs> Duncan's just left to go to the dump and then meet up with my mum and go to Booker because I'm not feeling up to it. But what I am feeling up to is rearranging my house. I'm not doing it. I'll be telling them what to do. I do that a lot. Um, no, we're trying to work out where to put the games from the garage in here. Uh, what do you forget? He's back in already, you know, back. two seconds. Shopping bags. <laughs> Shopping bags would be handy. Um, yeah, so we need to bring the board games in here. In order to do that, we need to remove the table where we're going to stick them. But the table is what Mally uses with his computer for schoolwork. So we need the table up, which means we need to do a mass rearrange in this room. And we're going to remove the big DVD case into um, the dining room. Um, behind my study desk where the fish tank currently is take the fish tank and put it into my new craft room because that's now craft storage and for painting um, and then we're going to move the TV to where I'm currently sat put this sofa and the other sofa along that back wall um, move the table so it's where the other sofa is which is underneath the window and then the games will be able to go between the sofa and the table um, uh, no, I think, actually, no, we're putting the games where the DVD case is. That's why we're moving the DVD case, because they won't fit in that corner anymore once the sofas are over. There we go. Keep track. You lost yet? <laughs> um, so we need to get moving. Um, this sofa actually needs access to a plug socket. Um, so we need to make sure we check where the lead is, because this is, um, it's a recliner, but it's a man, not a manual, it's a, electric button press one because I can't actually manage the manual one. The other sofa is a manual recliner but I can't actually pull the levers. I don't have enough strength for me to pull them so we need to make sure this one can be plugged in somewhere. Uh, so we're going to get started on that so I might take some video footage of this awfully messy room. I will apologise now that it really is a junkyard. It's disgusting in here right now. Um, but hopefully by the end of the day, it'd be all lovely again. So we'll see. Um, my wheelchair's currently in here because obviously doing the dump run, he's had to take the wheelchair out. So I might put that up and then actually show you guys it because you haven't seen my new one yet. Uh, but yeah, Duncan's gone off to the dump now. So me and Mally will probably get started on this, do, moving the lighter stuff. Or rather me telling him where to move the lighter stuff. Um, it's 11.55 now, so Kurt will be back from work. In about 10 minutes or so um he finishes at midday and it's only up the road he walks pretty fast but it depends on whether he gets away on time or not um and then i will get him to help move the heavier stuff um, what we'll probably do is pick up the rug which is basically a carpet in this house um 
you, those who have been watching for a while will remember the addition of the rug from my in-laws when we first got it. And I showed you, it's basically a carpet in this room, even though it was a small rug in my in-laws place. Um, so we'll probably pick that up first, because then the rest of the floor is um, laminate. So we should be able to just slide things along reasonably easy without having to worry about pulling up the rug and twisting and things like that. And then we can put the rug back down after because it went down after everything else was in here. So it's pretty simple to put down and just do a quick lift up of a corner or something to put it under. So we'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have a nice new lounge to work around in, which is great. I actually want to go and hang out in the conservatory today because I am so sorry. Um, yeah, I want to hang out in the conservatory because I, I, I need the loving that that conservatory gives me today. Um, but too much stuff to do and not enough time to do it. Because uh, I believe Duncan and Mally are going to go to the gym today. I was supposed to be going to the gym, but I'm actually still struggling. So I'm not going to go. Um, that's one of the rules that I'm not to push myself. And if once a week at the moment is all I can manage, then once a week is all I should do. Because pushing myself is actually more dangerous for me right now. And I'm really struggling still at the moment. So I'm not doing it. Because uh, it was a struggle on Thursday to do it. And I was feeling good on Thursday. And as I'm struggling today, there's no way I can do it. But maybe I'll get to go on Monday instead. Because um, Duncan will take me whichever day I f feel like going. Or feel up to going. Um... There was a time I would have pushed myself to go, um, which was um, last year. Um, I pushed myself as far as I could possibly go. And what happened? I had my hemiplegic attack and was unable to do anything for months. So um, I now have learnt my lesson not to push myself. I won't do it again because I don't fancy being paralysed. It's not fun. <laughs> it's humiliating, quite frankly. Um, because it's like full on one body side of powers and like a stroke. Um, and if you're having a stroke, you know, that's not humiliating. That's a major medical need. But when it's just something that after an hour you're back to normal, it's quite humiliating, to be honest, to be that useless. Um, and, you know, have to have my own children carry me. Um, and I'm a heavy girl. Um... It's just not something I want to experience again. So I'm not going to push myself and I'm not going to risk it. Uh, so, yeah, I had planned on sitting down and just doing the Rings of Change today. Because um, I got another row done last night, which... What was I on? Row 103? Can't actually remember. I'll have to have a look. Um, but I was planning on getting at least another one or two rows finished today. And that's my mother on the thing. One day I'll make through all this. I'll see you all later. Bye. Hi guys, so this is my awful mess of a lounge. So we've got the TV over here, the giant buffet, my two wheelchairs, those crates there are more stock. The table, sofa, the stuff in front of the DVD shelf. It's actually Reese's mess he was supposed to take with him. The DVD shelves, the other sofa, and then another table. That's my table, I'm such a messy cat. And then obviously the rug, it's my laptop. Um, so. Um, this sofa and this sofa will be going along this wall and the TV will go where the sofa is. Sorry about the pointing. That DVD shelf is going out of the room and the games will hopefully go there. The table will go in there. Hopefully. Um, spin you around. So the DVD shelf is going to go here and the fish tank is going to go into my craft room here. Um, and then at some point I'm going to move this against that wall and then this will go there and that one will go there just so that the heights go in order because it annoys me um, yeah so there's a few things to do that's my kitchen behind me <laughs> um, so as I said it's a mess it's an awful mess but it's because I'm running out of storage space for everything um, as you probably noticed, the things have changed blanket down there on the floor. Um, it's in a bag. It's just so big, it doesn't fit in the bag anymore. Um, and I'm just, yeah, there's just not enough room for everything. So we need to move things around and get inventive. Um, so as you can probably see, these things are in different heights. And it annoys the hell out of me. So I want them in order. And plus the um, filing cabinet 
sticks out further than the rest. I want it against a wall so that it doesn't stick out and look odd. It annoys me. It's just it's an unnecessary mess. So, yeah, we're going to get started on that. Whoa, close up. Um, and hopefully it'll look better later. I'll let you know. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, we're still moving things around. Maybe out of town. I'm in a different place. <laughs> um, but while we're tidying, we found my eye pom pom. It's a little messy. It was neat um, and more eye looking when I first made it. But what do you think? It's an alien eye because obviously it's pink and things. But it's been a while. I have. It was. This was my first attempt. It um, shaped um character object pom poms. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But yeah, I'd made an eye. What do you think? Well, my first attempt it wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, I haven't made any more eyes since this. I was going to make a loaf for Halloween last year and then I never got around to it. But I might make some. Um, and then I can hang them around for decorations and maybe if the kids want them, they can take one each with them. We'll see. <laughs> but I want to do more animal and shape funny patterned pom-poms because they're fun. But yeah, I haven't got around to doing any. But the room's... Getting there. Most of the stuff is in the new places. Still a couple of new things to go. Um, and general tidy. And then I'll show you all. Um, Duncan's not even back yet. We've done most of this before he gets back. Kurt's been helping instead. Hence not filming any of it. Because obviously Kurt doesn't want to be on camera. So we don't film anything with him in it. Um, but you know what? He's surprisingly strong. He lifted these sofas basically on his own. While wearing kilogram um, wrist weights on each wrist. <laughs> um, and he's just like, the sofa's not that heavy. It really is. Really heavy. It took two men to carry these things in. <laughs> so he's a lot stronger than he thinks, and a hell of a lot stronger than he looks. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're just, we're, we're getting there. It's slowly but surely. Um, so Duncan's at Tesco's at the moment. He's just phoned, so he'll be back soon with food, because I'm hungry. Um, and when I'm hungry, I get hangry. Um, so yeah, this it, it's almost done. It's just about moving things around. We still got to get the board games and that in here yet, but we got to move the bigger DVD shelf out of here yet. But that can't be moved until we finish the tidying, so we can move the wheelchair and that back out of the craft room, so we can put the um, fish tank into the craft room and then that shelf where the fish tank is. A lot of moving, <laughs> but it's getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> I'll catch you all later. Bye. Hi guys, so this is the lounge basically finished, some cleaning stuff, so we've got all our board games over there, table, the two sofas are there, and here we have one of the DVDs, shelves, and then the other one has moved to here, I'll turn the light on, you might be able to see, and yeah, the other one's there, um, so this this is my one, the electric one, this you can tell my one, look, it's got the yarn stuff. Um, Duncan sits there, Mally sits over there with his work. Um, put my electric chair there now, and my manual chair there. But these are all our board games. We have a lot. I have a board game issue. I like board games all too well. But it's looking much better, don't you think? I can now fit everything in. Nice. Right guys, so I just gave you a little tour of the new lounge and how it's all looking. It's much better now. We've got the board games in, the garage has now got room to move. Still a lot more to go. We've got at least two or three more dump runs to go to get rid of stuff. Especially if Reese doesn't come and get his, because then we're going to dump his stuff too. Um, I still have some stuff to sort in my craft room, because we've had to move some stuff in there. I'll sort that tomorrow, but it should hopefully be reasonably easy to sort. I'm hoping to set up the giant bean bag, the fur bean, faux fur bean bag. There's a seat in there for me to sit down and relax when I need to, when I need to crochet. Excuse me. When I can't um, continue filming, I can sit down in there and relax instead of coming in here, I'm hoping, but we'll soon find out. Um, so, yeah, it's come along the way. Um, it's now 8.30 on Sunday the 2nd of September. So um, I think I'm going to call it quits for the night because we're going to have dinner and relax because I think I've worn out all the um, people in this house. Um, Duncan and Mally have been working their little butts off 
and Kurt done most of the actual moving around in here before Duncan even got back. Um, so they're all shattered. I think they're all a little annoyed with me for wanting it done so soon. But if I don't get it done, it won't. Um, when I want it done, it won't get done. I'll be waiting for months. Um, so it's done, and they can be annoyed with me as much as they like. <laughs> But at least it's all done now. So now hopefully it might be a bit easier to find things and keep things clean. And I can access the board games because I couldn't get to them in the garage. So it would be really nice. So I'm going to go then. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. And I hope your week coming isn't too bad. Um, I think our weather is not supposed to be too bad. So I'm actually keeping the manual chair here instead of it's always kept in the back of the in the boot of the car. But I've asked Duncan to take it out and leave it in here. Um, so maybe Mally might take me out down to the pokey stops during the week. I don't know. He might not want to push me. Um, but we can see. He might. Um, be nice to have it as an option to go out with. But we'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to go. And I will catch you all tomorrow. So take care. Bye.